the Colorado River is drying up, and negotiations among southwestern states over how to share its shrinking supply are stalled. With the current allocation agreement set to expire after next year, Arizona could soon face reduced rights to the river's water, a serious challenge for a state already stretched thin. But experts warn that an even larger crisis is unfolding beneath Arizona's surface. A new study from Arizona State University shows the state is depleting its underground aquifers faster than any other state in the Colorado River Basin. Using NASA satellite data alongside figures from the Arizona Department of Water Resources covering 2002 to 2024, researchers found groundwater levels have dropped sharply across the state, particularly outside the Phoenix metropolitan area. While dropping water levels at Lake Mead and Lake Powell dominate headlines, Groundwater quietly supplies 41% of Arizona's water, more than any other source. The study shows that this hidden lifeline is vanishing at a much faster rate than surface water, raising urgent questions about sustainability. The 1980 Groundwater Management Act helped reduce overpumping in Phoenix, where decades ago excessive withdrawals were literally causing the city to sink. Yet outside the valley, groundwater regulation is minimal. In rural southeastern Arizona, where communities rely almost entirely on wells, residents are increasingly alarmed as water levels plunge. The ASU research found aquifers in that region have dropped by more than 8 mm per year over the last two decades, a decline that threatens both households and farms. With river supplies uncertain and underground reserves draining away, Arizona is facing a double bind. Water officials say without stronger policies and coordinated planning, rural areas could be left dry while the state battles for a shrinking share of the Colorado River.